Hello and good day everyone. I'm Michelle Collet. I'm the director of the online doctoral program in educational leadership and Michael Bowden and I are here today to talk about where you've come from cohort one in terms of the 801 activities and how that material and hard work will inform what you're doing in 805. So again, uh, we appreciate your attention and we will be talking with you and to each other today as we review the process. Michael, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself before I start. Hi, I'm Michael Bowden and uh, for a long time uh, I was on the faculty uh, in the education department and I'm still on the faculty in a slightly different role and continuing my affiliation by being involved in helping develop the doctoral program that you're a student in uh, and teaching the course on managing change. Great. All right, so what I'm going to do is reiterate the main ideas from the site study that we took up at the first uh, term in EDU 801, Preparing for Transformative Leadership. So I'm going to touch on the sort of three main areas of the work that we did and offer a little context and opportunity for transition into the next piece of work related to your site-based leadership. If you recall, there were three parts of the exercise, activity, site study. The first was really descriptive. Where are you positioned uh, in your organization, your role? The nature of the organization, how many people, what is the unit relative to the organization, those kinds of things. And really uh, was a descriptive exercise. Name, rank, serial number, how many, purpose. We actually did a bit of mission and vision, those kinds of things. The second part had to do with uh, adult learning really, to do primarily with professional development. So how are you involved with professional development? Do you have a leadership role that's formal or informal? What are your activities to do with professional development? How are they framed at your organization? Some of you articulated very clear roadmaps of uh, what went on in your place day to day, week to week, month to month. Others of you have outsourced and were using formal, um, in some cases online, uh, units and products for individuals. Others, you know what, there's not so much going on around here. So the continuum was quite long in that case. Uh, the third part had to do with uh, a change analysis process. And we looked at some different ways that each of you could take a snapshot of what was going on in your organization. What were people's assumptions about what mattered? Were there initiatives underway? If so, what did people think about those things? And we used some various strategies like a force field analysis, sort of a culture audit, different ways to do a dipstick or get a sense of where folks were with that initiative. So again, that's what we did in 801. And as Michael and I worked to prepare the content of 805, I revisited this work with him to give him a sense of where we've come from. The final point I'd like to make is, as you stepped into that work and did that initial a prospecting, so to speak. Some of you came out of it at the end of the term and said, you know, this is not the most important thing going on for me, or uh, politically this is problematic for me, or this isn't really the most important thing going on in our organization. I'm going to shift gears. And that's absolutely a good outcome when you've done that kind of work. So I would commend you for that thinking. And as you step into this next course, into 805 and think about what do I want to accomplish as a change agent in my role, given the important things going on in my organization. This is a time to refine that thinking or change gears if you need to do that. Okay? 